these data better than expected from your U.S. trial, 79% efficacy overall. You plan to file for emergency use authorization, we understand, within the coming weeks. What's your expectation for the timing of when this could be available here in the U.S. and the role this vaccine could play, as there are already three others here on the market? Yeah, thank you so much for having me in in, in your show. Yeah, absolutely. We are, we are thrilled by the results uh, we have disclosed this uh, this morning. 79% efficacy against symptomatic COVID-19, but I think equally very important, 100% protection against severe disease and hospitalization. So the plan is to, to file in the first half of April for the emergency use authorization. And of course, then it's in the hands of, uh, of the FDA how fast they can uh, decide about the uh, the approval uh, and assume that the approval will will take uh, place in in a fast uh, fast way we hope to deliver 30 million uh, doses instantly after the EUA for for Americans to get vaccinated i think it's incredibly important that despite the good progress we have seen across all vaccine uh, producers that there is still a need for more vaccines in the united states but clearly also uh, in the world so we are thrilled with those results and hope it will help in order to fight against this terrible pandemic. Mm, you mentioned that 100% efficacy against severe disease and hospitalization, which of course is what you want to see vaccines do. Can you tell us anything about the strength of that finding? How many people in the placebo group were hospitalized or had severe disease? Yeah, so it was a very large trial. It was a trial over, over, with over 30,000 participants, primarily in, uh, in, in the United States, but also some participants in Peru and, and Chile. Uh, and what we clearly saw is that we had in our, in our vaccinated group zero cases of severe disease or, or death, while we had five cases in, in the, in the non-vaccinated uh, group. So very strong. It's an interim analysis. Uh, so we, uh, we are still accumulating uh, more, some more events, uh, but we are very comfortable based also on other trials that the vaccine is 100% protective against uh, severe disease and hospitalization. And have you seen, uh, you know, the presence of variants in these data? Of course, these are interim results, uh, but any sequencing that you've done so far showing efficacy against uh, different variants of the coronavirus? Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's an excellent uh, question. The short answer is no. We, are, as we speak, we are analyzing uh, the the sequence of all the variants. Of course, what we observe now in the United States as well as across the world is different than we saw, let's say, uh, seven, eight months ago the Brazilian variant, the UK variant, in some cases, the South African variant. So we will start, or we have already started, uh, sequencing of, uh, of all the variants in, in all the subjects. Uh, and that will be clearly part of uh, the package uh, submitted to the FDA as well. And tell us about the safety analysis here. Of course, the blood clot risk uh, in Europe causing several countries to suspend use of the vaccine. Europe then clearing the vaccine. Many countries resuming its use. You uh, specifically looked at this in the trial and your independent data safety monitoring board did and didn't find that risk. How is AstraZeneca looking at that risk and also about uh, how to communicate about the safety of this vaccine and, and if that's a hurdle to overcome for you? Yeah, as, as always, and I think I speak on behalf of all manufacturers, uh, safety, patient safety is our number one uh, priority. So every signal we take extremely seriously. Uh, but of course, equally, uh, regulators are, are doing the same, as well as in this case, the Data Safety Monitoring Board. I think it was very pleasing to see that even with a magnifying glass, the Data Safety Monitoring Board didn't see any imbalance between the vaccinated group and the placebo group. So that gives us a lot of confidence. Equally, as you perhaps have seen also last week, two very important regulators, the, the EMA in Europe, as well as the MHRA in the UK, confirmed the, the, the safety and they concluded that the uh, efficacy of the vaccine far outweighs the, 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 the safety of, uh, of, of, of the vaccine. So we are very comfortable and, and confident, but equally, of course, this is always an area where we will look into. And, and if there is any need in order to do more, we will certainly do that. Dr. Dauber, just to, to clarify, the efficacy numbers that we've seen were based on the trials that were run when? Because as you mentioned, things are changing here pretty rapidly in the United States in terms of the variants that, that are running around here. Same story for the other companies that had run their trials earlier. But those, those trials were run seven to eight months ago. How, how recent and updated is that information and, and how closely does it look like the situation that we're watching in the United States today with those variants? Yeah. 
once again, that's that's uh, that's absolutely an, an excellent uh, question. We, we know in, uh, in 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 the United States as well that the UK variant is 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 is, is growing very fast, and uh, so the analysis we are going to do once again is is to to test by, uh, and sequence by PCR uh, all the different variants of all the subjects uh, which were part of our study, and that will give us insight uh, how the efficacy will. Uh, uh, will uh, hold up against all those uh, all those variants. So there's a lot of work ongoing, not only in the United States but across the globe, in order to get a better feel for the effect effectiveness of of the vaccine. Um, and we have good hopes, at least for the UK and the Brazilian variants, that our vaccine is highly effective. And the jury is still out for, with respect to the to the South African variant. Uh, but there's a lot of effort already ongoing in order to produce potentially a new vaccine which will cover the variants in a more aggressive and better way. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.